Hey there guys, you're back with Nate, and today we're going to be making an intro. So today, uh, you know, it's, uh, I made an intro and I was thinking, you know, I need something that will actually intro on my page. So I made, I have to make a voiceover on this because of the fact that, you know, I didn't save my actual thing. So, uh, first thing you want to do is we want to go into Blender. Type into Blender. First, you're going to go onto the download page. That'll show up. So you're going to click download. And then you're going to scroll down, and if you're a Windows user, you'll use 64-bit or use 32-bit. And you can use USA, Germany, Netherlands, then you can also use Russia if needed. Um, but if you need to, then click one of those if you're a Windows user. But other than that, scroll down to Windows or Mac, and you'll click the 64-bit or the USA, depending on your country. See, so you already have one downloaded, so instead of going there, it says I can't use it. So I'm going to click the Blender and it'll pop up like that. You'll see a cover page saying this is Blender, welcome to Blender, all that good stuff. So then you're going to click around, you can screw you can zoom in, you can create anything, any animations. But this is based on users. So then we're going back to the internet. We're going to click into our internet, actually like we're going to click intro. So we're going to choose an intro. Um, the first one is mine. So this as you can see it's pointing. So that is my intro. As you can see, it also played at the beginning of the video. And that is also my intro. So that's the second one, but we're not going to watch that fully. So what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you can see that it's, that that is it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to finish watching this, as you can see. Then we're going to exit that because that is already in made intro. So then we're going to pull up our uh, blender. And as you can see, we have all the options if you need. So right here is the internet. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on number one, the download link. Then we're going to scroll. As you can see, this is it. So you have to sign in. You're going to sign in with a Gmail they use for your YouTube channel. Or if you have a Gmail that you need to make or anything, just to actually download it. So I'm going to use my school Gmail. I'm going to click allow. I don't, I don't know why it says, yeah, I've already saved it, but okay so then I'm going to click OK it'll pop up a little thing that'll shoot up to my top box I'm going to click download and then it'll shoot up to my box so I'm going to click the download option I'm going to click that intro it'll pop up three things a finished one which really you can't use a menu one and then a sound so you're going to double click the actual thing it'll bring you up there so then it has instructions in the middle devices on the right and then that's just things you can use to edit on the left so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this closer we're going to right click on it and then we're going to delete your name and then I'm going to type in Nathaniel N-A-T-H-A-N-I-E-L space R dot so then I'm going to right click again and then click tab so that way I can keep it. And I'm going to scroll on over down to format. So what I'm going to do is instead of this because I have a fixed version and it will pop up. This is where you can save it. I went into downloads. Slid that over a little. Downloads. Uh, you can save it into downloads which is what I did. Now right here you can see I'm going to click quick time. Now it'll pop up menus, so what you're going to do is you're going to change it to a JPEG. Or a, yep, an MPEG. So then you're just going to change the MP, and uh, you're going to keep everything like it is. You're going to change the audio output to ACC, if that didn't show. And then we're going to start it now.
as you see we're coming to an end so for Mac users you're going to let it finish mine finishes at 175 as you can see it sends me a notification saying I'm done so you can see right there that it matches that one meaning it's able to play on Mac so you're going to as you can see those settings so you're going to actually delete that one because that one is a failed one so you're going to they look exactly the same so now you can use them so let's click play oops so let's click play and as you can see it plays with sound and everything needed just as the one in the beginning alright guys so uh, without further ado those are all just pictures that I had to take just in case uh, something didn't look right so it's nothing you guys have to do but just something I did um, so make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time peace